Meanwhile, the campaign 2015 with Election Day just hours away. Both Mayor Rahm Emanuel and challenger Jesus Chuy Garcia are doing everything they can to get last-minute votes. CBS 2's Brad Edwards is live on the near west side with more on a busy day on the campaign trail. Brad. That it was, and a busy night. Good evening to you, Kate. And down the stretch they came. The challenger with a hoarse voice hitting the trail hard. And late into the evening, the mayor was here. Just when you think you made your last phone call, you got 10 more to go. That's right. <laughs> the mayor hit his 27th Ward campaign headquarters for a rally with Rom on the city's west side. If we want to land the jobs, we need leadership. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. You want to make progress? We need a plan. That's right. That's right. You want to meet the challenges? You need character. That's right. That's right. You want to move forward? You need to be forthright with people. So wound down a day of hugs, handshakes, and sound bites. This will be the first press conference. I don't have to hold Jay's mic for him. 142,000 have already cast their ballots for the runoff, which could indicate a big increase. Only 90,000 people early voted for the primary part of a total 34% turnout. Latest poll, Manuel just above 51%, Garcia at 33 with 15.6% of voters still undecided. How many of those undecided do you think are gonna break for you? We feel real good in the first place. Uh, the polls don't sample a lot of the important constituencies in Chicago, especially young people. We think those break overwhelmingly for us, so we feel very confident. <laughs> Mr. Garcia surprised diners here. He joked he had 90 minutes of voice left. Final message. Every vote counts. If people in Chicago feel strongly about having a say in government, they need to come out and vote tomorrow. Oh, you got my vote. <laughs> then it was off to the blue line, to Logan Square. A brief break and a brew, and then on from there. And Garcia's public schedule begins bright and early tomorrow morning, just after 6 a.m. As for the mayor tonight, with a lead and on a big basketball night, using a football analogy to his supporters, saying, you never spiked the ball on the 10-yard line, taking nothing for granted. We're live tonight on the Near West Side. Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News. Robin Kate. All right, Brad, thank you.